Hey guys, welcome back to another video on, um, whatever this thing is called, I'm not entirely sure. What is this YouTube channel called? Oh, Pretty Girls of Drag, that's what it's called. Okay, but, before we start, I would just like to say I broke my, well, kinda broke my phone, I dropped it, and there's, and the, like, half the screen don't work no more. Um... It's currently dead at the moment. I don't know where it's at, but I need to charge it. I don't know where I put it. I don't know what's wrong with my life. But I can't really figure out what's our topic this week. So I'm kind of flying blind here. I'm just doing whatever the fuck I feel like doing. Um. But, so I don't know what the rest of the girls are going to do. But I know that I'm going to... Do monthly favorites for you all, and it's kind of a long monthly favorites because I got a lot of shit that I like. Like, a lot of shit, girl. A lot. But I'm just gonna go in, like, categories, like brushes, um, cleansers, makeup, things like that, on, um, like, clothing, shoes, stuff like that, and just kind of go along with it. And I'm actually wearing one of my monthly favorites right here. It's, um, a lipstick. Obviously. Obviously. But I'll get to that in a second. But, I don't know. What what should I start with, guys? I have all my stuff laid out right here. Let's start with lipstick and, like, makeup and stuff. So, starting out, first uh, favorite is the new Milani liquid lipsticks. They're, like, matte. Like, liquid to matte lipsticks. And I absolutely adore them. I have all the shades that they sell at my local Walgreens. Um, I went and I got them all, because I tried, I bought one, and I liked it, and I immediately went back the next day and bought the rest of them, and I just absolutely love them. The color I have on my lips now is 01 Crush, um, one of my favorite colors, and my second favorite color, it's Lust, um, 04, it's like a deep mauve pink type thing. Uh, a, d a really dusty rose color, and it's so beautiful. Um, next product is my NYX Cosmetics Photo Loving Primer. I use this every day, because I wear makeup to school, and I wear, like, a liquid foundation, a moisturizer, concealer, powder, over that, and everything like that, bronzer, and it's like very heavy on your skin so you kind of want something in between I have dry skin anyway so like dry mixture combination skin and but it still stays more on the dry side so I use this and it keeps my skin nice and hydrated and moist and it makes my skin look all smooth and nice and I absolutely adore this product it's like six dollars at um Ulta I think Ulta Target I know you can get it at Target that's where I got this from but I'm pretty sure you can get it at Ulta too Next product is a very new product that I just picked up, but I've used it a couple times and I absolutely love it. I use it every day. I use one of the products, or one of the colors in it every day. But it is my Makeup Revolution. It is their all about bronzed uh, blush. I call it a contour palette, but it has basically a whole bunch of contour shades um, right here. Well, bronzer, contour shades, things like that. Be a little bit more fresh and I'll cover that. Um, and I use this, yeah, this shade right here every day. It's a nice taupey color, like a very taupey kind of undertone to it. And it just looks absolutely beautiful on skin. Um, not, this one is a little too orange, I will say, but the rest of the colors are very, um, easy to use and they don't look too harsh on the skin. Next product is another one I've used every day and it is the NYX Cosmetics eyebrow cake powder really good if you want like if, if you're like me and you like to have your natural eyebrows filled in for like a natural look um i like to have sharp kind of defined but not really like pop out at you eyebrows this like very naturally perfect um i use this and it makes it look so gorgeous um just put a little bit of comes with like a light powder or a darker powder so you can do an ombre I, sh I should really go and get a shade, the shade darker if I want to do an ombre, but I really don't because this dark shade right here matches um, my hair color perfectly, and so I just fill in my entire thing with that. 
and it looks perfect. I look like I have natural eyebrows that are just nice and sharp and thick. Um, next is NYX Cosmetics Concealer. Uh, not really anything special about this, but it stays on for a very long time. It's super creamy, um, super smooth. It doesn't irritate my skin, which is actually a really good thing for me because I have sensitive skin. So I have to, I'm careful with like my foundation stuff that I use, my concealer stuff that I use, and this has never irritated my skin once. I just think it's absolutely perfect. And my new like favorite thing since um, I ran out of hairspray when Bonnie Moore is Fast Fabulous Hard Candy Setting Spray. It is just perfect. You just take it out, and it's a little um spritz a bottle like this, and you just dust it all over your makeup. It's kind of like MAC Fix Plus in a way, where you just like spray it on, um, like spritz it all over your face, and it's kind of mist it onto you, and it'll make, make, it literally makes your makeup stay on all day. I do about six sprays, like six pumps all over my face, just to make sure I get a full coverage, because I'm at school all day, and I put my head on my, my, um, head on my hand and I just go to sleep and stuff in school and things like that. If I fall asleep on the desk I don't want makeup like I don't want there to be a big old hole in the middle of my makeup or my hand is resting on the desk. Next up is brushes and I do have a good amount of brushes this month and I'll start with like I kind of break it up in different brands um, but starting off I have Eco Tools Eye Perfecting Concealer Brush and then I have the Eco Tools Skin Perfecting Foundation Brush. This one works great for applying any kind of liquid foundation that you have. If you don't want to use a sponge or you don't want to use your beauty blender for it. But I basically apply my foundation and I blend everything out with the beauty blender and make sure everything is even. And I go in over top of that with a moisturizer with this same brush and I kind of just work it in to kind of thin out that foundation it's not like thick. Then this one I used to apply the um, what it's called? Concealer right here under my eyes to make a little triangle and stuff to kind of brighten my eyes and kind of make it look better. Um, and it works great. It's super soft. Uh, super easy to clean. Bristles are very dense so it's like nice. You get a good amount of product on there and you can work it in really well. Make sure that's blended. And things like that. Next is um, Sonia Kashuk brushes. I have this one, which is the number 27 brush. It's like a sharp angled brush. And I use this to fill in my brows, and I absolutely love it. I recommend this brush to everyone who wants a nice, multi purpose, like angled brush. Like, this is good for lips, it's good for eyeliner, it's good for brows, um, which is what I use it for for the most part. And then I have the second Kasha number 30 contour brush, which I, the only reason I got this brush was because I had seen Tarte's um, Amazonian clay uh, contour sculptor brush thing that was like the flat top brush, flat top kabuki brush. And I know that, that brush is like $30, I didn't want to pay $30 for it. So I bought this one, it's kind of like a different style, but kind of the same kind of flat top contour brushing. I absolutely love it. Kind of have to, um, it's weird the way you have to work with it. You can't, if you want like a very natural contour, don't use this brush. This one gives you a nice sharp contour or a nice defined contour, but if you just want maybe a bronze kind of contour look where it's just natural, I would say go with this next brush I'm about to show y'all. And as being said, this is the Real Techniques um, Tapered Face Brush. I'm not entirely sure what the actual name of it is. I'm just going by what I'm kind of looking at. But it's a, basically a tapered face brush. And it works great for applying any kind of brush, blush, bronzer, powder, highlighter, anything like that. It's just a perfect shape for getting up under your eyes, um, on your cheeks. I use it a lot for highlighter and bronzer and contour. It's because I like to have a very... Um, gradient contour and very soft contour and this works great for it. Next brush is again by Eco Tools and it is their little eye brush. I got both of these from Walmart which I love Walmart. I'm not even gonna lie. They got good uh, brushes sometimes. They got good deals. Um, but I love it. It's just small enough to where I can really get into my crease. I can really define my own crease like my, like my natural crease. 
or really anyone's crease. Um, it applies a perfect amount of shadow. It's really dense too. Like, you're not gonna find a whole lot of denseness in a whole lot of eyeshadow brushes. But this one is super dense, and it's so versatile. So you can use it to blend. You can use it to um, pack color on. You can use it to create new shapes, smudge out liner. You can do anything. It's such a versatile brush. It's one of the reasons I love it. Next thing I have. And I just kind of broke a little bit. I'll just have to make sure whenever I open it. But it's the NYX Primal Color in black. Don't buy any other black but this one. This one is amazing. Like, $5 at Ulta. Best black I have ever used. Like, for real. If you are a makeup artist and you want some... Uh, a good color variety, get... These are five dollars a piece at Ulta. They come in these little pans. Um, they're all very pigmented. The only thing I will say about this, though, the black is a very soft color. It's the only like really, really, really soft color that you have to be careful with because you go through it so fast. Um, in the in their in this line of uh, products, but the rest of them are like nice and compact in there and pressed well. The blacks just it's a really soft black. It's it's a really soft little product. You can basically just push your brush into it and you can basically go through the entire thing. But I still love it though. It's super black, super pigmented, and definitely worth $5. And I actually think that's almost a steal for what you're getting. Next thing is my MAC Brush Cleanser. I mix this with half MAC Brush Cleanser, half alcohol and a little bit of blue like a drop of a blue detergent um because i use a lot of cream based makeup products and i use a um a dish soap like a couple drops of a blue dish soap well any color dish soap will do and i just mix it up in here and it makes the perfect the literal perfect combination for sanitizing your brushes, cleaning your brushes, it breaks up cream products so beautifully and cuts through all that grease on them. Um, thick, cakey makeup like Ben and I, stage makeup, anything like that, is going to completely cut through that and remove it from your brush. And I love it because I used to hate washing my brushes and now it's so easy. I just put that in a little bowl, push my brush around in the bowl, switch it, switch it off in a rag, clean it. Now I wash off any excess in the water and I basically let it dry and it dries so quickly with that. Next product is um, a product I've used for a while, but it's the first time I've gotten around to using a um, toner and everything with it. And this is actually a new formula I think for it that I just got. But it is the Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Cleansing Pads and I love these because they have salicylic acid in them. I am allergic to, mildly allergic, but I am any less allergic to benzoyl peroxide. It literally makes my skin burn, and I've suffered some damage from it, like very minor damage. Um, not anything to wear scars, but I've woken up the next morning and like my skin will be really irritated and it's kind of crusty and like kind of scabbed and really dry and just really nasty um benzoyl peroxide as soon as it hits my skin it starts to burn i can't use benzoyl peroxide unless it's in a very very small amount and that's normally in my zit cream um and i'll put that right on the zit right when i pop it and it'll help suck it out or um dry it out that's the only time i can use benzoyl peroxide and it burns like a motherfucker and i can only keep it on there for like two or three hours at a time I can't stand it no more. Last product is a pair of shoes. Um, I've had these shoes for a while, but again, first time I've gotten around to making a video. And these are by New Look. I got these at a thrift store, so... I mean... Oh god, child. I just noticed I have so much fucking black on my hand, now I have black on everything else. Motherfucker. These shoes probably need to be clean. But they're like a suede nude color. See, look, I'm like getting this fucking black all over them. God damn it. It's like a suede nude platform shoe. There's a strap in the back. 
It's a size 9, which I can never wear a size 9. I was surprised I could fit in these, but they're a wide fit. Um, I guess a lot of new looks, new look shoes are wide fit. These were like $5 at a thrift store. And I was like, yes, God, mama. And I was living for them. And I still wear them a lot. Um, they're my only nude colored shoe that I have. Oh, and last thing, it's, I got this actually today, but it is a, um, coon cap. And if you don't know what that, that is, it's basically like David Cro Davy Crockett type hat that is, god damn, this shit is everywhere. Hold on. But it's basically a raccoon type hat, like a raccoon skin hat, and it's very awesome. I'm thinking about cutting this piece right here off, because I am really just got it for the um, this part, cause it's like a muff type thing almost, and it's just a fur hat. I don't have a fur hat yet. Well, I didn't until I bought this today. It was only like two bucks at the thrift store. As you can tell, I go to the thrift store a lot, because I like thrift shopping. But I feel like I've rambled on enough for this video, and... I'll let you get all your replies. Um, check back next week, maybe. I might upload. I might not. I'm not sure. So, bye!